Ecom guru asked in the forums he wants to batch create sequences. Namely, he has one bin with start clips, one with middle clips, and one with end clips, and he wants to create sequences for all combinations of those. So let's see how this is working with automation blocks for Premiere Pro. So here we are in Premiere Pro. We've got here different bins, start footage, middle footage, and end footage, and want to create lots of sequences, namely all combinations of picking one clip from here, one from here, and one from here. So in automation blocks, I am here in the script tab and click on new to create a new script. And we want to loop over those um, items here. Yeah. So we go to the project items and say, for each item, my item in bin and sub bins. Well, in which ones? First, first we want to loop over the start bin. So we click here, refresh, and now we will loop here over all items in the start footage bin and store them in the variable my item. So let me rename this and call this uh, start item. And we want to only loop here over footage. So this means we disable everything else. If anything else is in these bins, it will be ignored. We only loop over the footage items and not only over selected ones, but everything that's inside this, it this bin. Yeah. Now we can duplicate this block and stack it inside of here and duplicate it a second time and again stack it inside of here and say here we want to loop over the middle item or now we have to be careful. If we rename this and call this middle, you can see that it updates in all the three of them, yeah, because it's still just one variable. So what we need to make sure is to we want to create, in addition to the middle item variable that we have, additional ones, additional ones called start item and end item. Now we've got three different variables. Middle item, um, let's start with start item, middle item, and end item. And start item should be taken from the footage, start footage. Middle item should be taken from footage, middle footage. So we select middle footage and click refresh here to insert footage, middle footage. And the end footage should be taken from here. So now by nesting these inside each other, yeah, note that they are all stacked inside each other, inside of here, we now have code, or we can put code that is executed for each combination of start item, middle item, and end item. All combinations are executed here. And what do we want to do? Well, we want to create a sequence. So we go to new sequence from clips. And now we need to give it a list of clips. Yeah. So we go to list and by accident, this li list here already has three entries. If you want to implement this for more or less, you can drag this out or in here to create more or less items in our list. And the clips that we want to have in our sequence are the ones stored in our variables. So start item, middle item and item and now to keep it simple we keep the sequence name unchanged it should just be my new sequence and let's run this tool and see what's happening and as you can see it creates tons of new sequences all creating as uh, all consisting of three clips yeah and it's such that the first one is taken from the start items, the second one from the middle items, and the last one from the end items. Now let's see what we can do about the naming. Maybe you are already happy with just this here, all sequences having the same name, but I guess you want to have a better naming. So what we can do is first, the ba very basic thing we could do is add some counter. Yeah. So we create a variable counter and we set the counter at the beginning to zero or one, no, depending on what you want to start with. Let's say you want to start with sequence number one from your naming. So we put this here to 
one and we use here sequence name we create a text consisting of sequence space and after this our counter oh sorry we find it here under variables the c we've got four variables now the start item middle item and end item and our counter yeah and we create a new sequence with the three items and we name the sequence as sequence space and then the whatever the counter variable says so far the counter is just set to one so if we run the tool it will always generate the name sequence one and we had would have tons of sequences with name sequence one here so the trick is we go to variables and say change counter by one this means after we created the sequence this counter will be in increased by one and so the next sequence will be sequence two if we run this tool now you can see we've got sequence one sequence two sequence three and so on up to uh, sequence 32 does this make sense we've got four intros four middle parts and two outros it's four times four is 16 times two is 32 combinations yeah all combinations have been created great now let's finally show you how you would also include the naming of these files here um, or of these project items into the name yeah you could continue using this create text but for complex patterns i prefer to use this replace in yeah um, and it works as follows let's say we want to say our na sequence name should be sequence um, index or sequence and then should the counter follow so we say dollar one to say please insert here whatever comes uh, in our dollar one variable that we place here so we put here our counter this so says sequence and then comes the counter and then let's say comes another space and then comes dollar two and let's say we want to mention in the sequence name the name of the middle footage that has been used yeah so the middle footage is called our is this is our middle item and from this middle item we want to get its name so we go here to project items and search for the attributes we want to get an attribute of our let's steal this here duplicate and put it here from this footage item we want to get not the type but we want to get its name yeah and we want to insert it here as dollar two so this would mean sequence one and then it would mention after that in the sequence name which of these four it has used let's check this and as you can see now the sequence has the counter and after that the name of the middle footage item that it has used we can probably see this better if we rename our clips here to foo bar whatever and whatever and now we run the script and you can see some of them are named foo some of them are named bar and some of them are named ASC something, which is this and this one, depending on which one has been used. Yeah, And you can also, of course, now fine tune this however you want. If you also want to have the name of the first one in here, you can just add another dollar and say dollar two space dollar three. And then as third, we want to have the same but let's say first we want to have the name of the start item and then the name of the middle item or so you get the idea yeah so maybe let's make this here complete and add a dollar four and add also the name of the third entry and item yeah. And maybe to get not huge names, we could do something like here. We call it A, B, C, D. And here we call it 
let's lo use lowercase letters here and D and let's say here we use it one variant is the X variant and one is a Y variant. Now let's delete all our sequences again and run the tool. And now you can see exactly this is a combination of the clip A from here, the clip lowercase a from here and the clip X from here. And you've got all other combinations here too. Okay, to sum up, if you want to use this tool, just select your start footage bin, click here refresh to load it in here, click your middle footage, click here to load it, click your end footage, click here to load it, and then adjust the naming to whatever you want your sequences to be named and you're ready to go. If you don't have exactly three items that you want to combine, but you want to have um, more or less, just stack more or less of these green loops here inside of each other. And if you say, well, middle and end footage should be exactly the same, it's also no problem to provide exactly the same bin here multiple times. Okay, so I'm going to save this in my community library at sequence create and then let's call this batch create sequence for start middle end clips. Okay, I'm going to save this there and I'm going to share it with you so you will find it exactly at that location in our community library. So this is how easy you can batch create sequences in Premiere Pro with automation blocks. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'm looking forward to see you in the next one.